Stop. Hey there, and this is the chemistry of football. Today we'll be discussing the different materials that make up the football and the chemistry behind it. So let's get started. The football is made of a few different parts. To start off, uh, let's begin with the air bladder, which is the inside of it, and it's made of a rubber material. Okay, the bladder inside is made of a butyl rubber. The butyl rubber is a synthetic rubber, and it's made of 98% polyisobutyl and 2% of isoprene. The butyl rubber is made by cationic addition polymerization. That is where the cation changes charges to a monomer and it becomes reactive which eventually forms a polymer. Butyl rubber is also impermeable to air which comes in handy when you're making the air bladder for a football. Okay, the next part of the ball are the laces. Uh, this is made of a natural rubber called nitrile butadiene rubber. Natural rubber is actually made from the sap of the rubber trees found in South America. Today liquid latex is shipped to factories where it's made by machines. The natural rubber used in the laces on the ball allows for a better grip which makes for an easier throw. Okay the last part of the ball is the leather that encases the air bladder inside. There are two types of leather, natural leather and composite leather. Natural leather obviously comes from The leather skin is made of amino acids that combine to form a collagen. The amino acids include glycine, alanine, arginine, and proline. Most footballs are made of a composite leather. Composite leather is made by using leather fibers and is mixed up with a binding material, a cushioning agent, and softeners. The cushioning agent is usually made of a natural latex and the binding material is made from a polymeric foam. All these parts combine to form the ending result of the football. Go. This is chemistry of football. Hike. You see in different parts of the football. You see the chemistry behind it all. Now get out of here.